Elon Musk just made a jaw-dropping announcement. A game-changing aircraft with groundbreaking abilities is ready to take flight, and the world is watching. Recently, countries like Israel and Iran introduced their hypersonic aircraft. However, this aircraft, known as the SR-72 Dark Star, is set to break every record and completely reshape the future of modern warfare with its mind-blowing speeds and unmatched stealth. What are the specific features of this aircraft? What does this mean for the global balance of power? Join us as we explore what Elon Musk revealed about the SR-72 Dark Star that is finally ready to fly over the skies. The skies have always been dominated by aircraft like the SR-71, which fly faster and higher than any plane ever imagined. The SR-71, also known as the Blackbird, an incredible example of aircraft engineering, was once the most powerful aircraft, soaring at speeds and altitudes that seemed impossible. Yet when it retired, the world wasn't prepared for what was coming next, and that was the SR-72. The SR-72 Dark Star, a hypersonic drone developed by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, is taking over with speeds and capabilities that are beyond belief. The origin of the SR-71 begins with an unfortunate event during the Cold War. In 1960, U.S. pilot Gary Powers was shot down while flying a U-2C Dragon Lady over Soviet territory. This event highlighted the vulnerability of high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft, and it forced the United States to rethink its approach. Radar and missile technology were advancing rapidly, making the U-2 increasingly easy to detect. The need for a faster, stealthier plane was clear. The CIA tasked Lockheed's secret Skunk Works division with developing a new spy plane. It was led by Kelly Johnson, and the team created the A-12, a prototype that eventually gave birth to the SR-71 Blackbird. The goal was to design an aircraft that could fly higher and faster than anything before it, while being nearly invisible to radar. It had to outpace any missile that could be fired at it and capture intelligence in hostile territories without ever being touched. The A-12 flew missions over North Korea and North Vietnam during the 1960s, reaching speeds of Mach 3.1 at altitudes as high as 88,000 feet. It was the fastest plane in the world at the time, and its impressive speed made it nearly impossible for enemy defenses to shoot it down. But even as the A-12 was proving its worth, it was already being overshadowed by the SR-71. The SR-71 became public in July 1964 and officially began serving the U.S. Air Force in January 1966. In 1989, the Air Force decided to retire the SR-71, mainly for political reasons. A few of the jets were brought back into service temporarily before they were fully retired in 1998. NASA used the Blackbird as a flying laboratory for research purposes before retiring it as well. In 1999, the SR-71 had a secret start, as it served the Air Force for a while, had a brief return, and then worked for NASA before its final retirement. The SR-71 had special equipment for its spy missions, such as sensors to intercept signals, radar for ground observation, and a camera. When it went on missions, it flew fast and high, reaching speeds of Mach 3.2 and altitudes of 85,000 feet, making it extremely difficult for enemies to catch or attack. If it detected a missile coming, the SR-71's trick was to speed up quickly and leave the missile behind. After each mission, the SR-71 required extensive checks and maintenance before it could fly again, which limited it to about one flight per week on average. A total of 30 SR-71 planes were made, but unfortunately, 12 were lost in accidents, though none were lost in combat. After its retirement, other technologies like spy satellites and pilotless drone took over the roles the SR-71 once filled. The SR-71 was more than just a faster version of the A-12. It was a complete reimagining of what an advanced aircraft could be. While the A-12 was a single-seat aircraft designed for specialized missions, the SR-71 had a two-seat cockpit, more fuel capacity, and enhanced capabilities. It was equipped with advanced cameras and sensors that could collect data in greater detail and from a wider field of view than its predecessor. The Blackbird quickly began setting records that still stand today, making it the fastest jet aircraft ever built. In 1974, it set a record for the fastest flight between London and New York, completing the trip in just under two hours. No other aircraft has matched its sustained speed or altitude, 
even decades after its retirement. And during the Vietnam War, the SR-71's evasiveness became legendary. North Vietnamese forces fired more than 800 surface-to-air missiles at it, but none ever hit their target. The plane was simply too fast. Despite its incredible performance, the SR-71 was expensive to maintain. By the late 1980s, the U.S. Air Force decided to retire the fleet, citing the high cost of keeping the aircraft operational. Critics argue that this decision was influenced more by politics. But by the early 1990s, only NASA continued to fly a few Blackbirds for research purposes. The remaining planes were placed in museums, where they became icons of aviation history. For years, there was no clear successor to the SR-71. The F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II emerged as advanced fighters, but they weren't designed to survey. The United States seemed to have no immediate replacement for the Blackbird. That changed in 2013 when Lockheed Martin announced the development of the SR-72, a hypersonic drone that would surpass the SR-71 in almost every way. The SR-72's development comes at a time when other nations, like Russia and China, are also racing to develop hypersonic technology. In 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin unveiled the KO-47M2 Kinzhal, a hypersonic missile capable of reaching Mach 10. This announcement marked the beginning of a new weapon race, with the United States, Russia, and China all fighting for power in the hypersonic world. The SR-72 Dark Star is referred to as the Son of Blackbird, a name that acknowledges its predecessor's legacy. Even though the SR-71 broke every record for speed and altitude, flying at Mach 3.3 and above 85,000 feet, the SR-72 is set to double those limits pushing the boundaries of technology to Mach 6, which is twice the speed of sound at those altitudes. Such speeds make the Dark Star nearly impossible to detect or intercept, rendering it a true nightmare for any enemy defense systems. One of the key aspects that makes the SR-72 so special is its dual-mode engine system. Traditional jets rely on one engine type, but the SR-72 has both a turbine engine for slower speeds and a scramjet engine for hypersonic flight. At lower speeds, the turbine engine provides the thrust, much like the engines found in commercial and military jets today. But as it climbs higher and faster, reaching supersonic speeds, the scramjet kicks in. This engine is unlike anything used in regular aircraft. It relies on the plane's own speed to compress the incoming air, which then mixes with fuel and ignites, creating an explosion of power that propels the aircraft even faster. Flying at these hypersonic speeds generates incredible heat. At Mach 6, the air friction alone can raise the temperature on the surface of the aircraft to over 3,500 degrees. This would melt most materials, but Lockheed Martin has developed new heat-resistant composites specifically for the SR-72. These materials, including advanced ceramics and carbon compounds, are designed to maintain their structures even under extreme temperatures. This development makes sure that the SR-72 can operate at such speeds without breaking apart, a problem that would have been impossible to solve even just a few years ago. The role of the SR-72 goes beyond simple observation. Its speed and altitude make it the perfect spy drone, as it is able to gather intelligence from virtually anywhere on Earth. The SR-72 can be armed with hypersonic weapons, allowing it to strike targets at incredible distances with incredible accuracy. This makes it not only a surveillance tool, but also a powerful attacking weapon, capable of delivering damaging attacks with little to no warning. The concept of hypersonic flight has been a topic of research and development for decades, but recent developments in materials science and propulsion technology have finally made it a reality. The SR-72's predecessor, the SR-71, was already a game changer, but it relied on older technologies that limited its capabilities. The SR-72 represents the next step in this evolution, using state-of-the-art technology to achieve speeds and capabilities that were once thought impossible. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division, known for its secrecy and cutting-edge projects, has been working on the SR-72 for many years. The project was made public years ago, but development had been underway long before that. The goal was always to create a plane that could not only fly faster than the SR-71, but also operate autonomously. One significant development in aircraft is the shift to automated flight. The SR-72 is now able to conduct high-risk missions 
without risking the lives of its pilots. Like any new technology, there have been issues with the SR-72. Developing a plane that can fly at Mach 6 is not an easy task, and Lockheed Martin has overcome many technical challenges. A few years ago, the propulsion system needed to achieve such speeds was still in the early stages of development, and the materials needed to withstand the heat of hypersonic flight were scarce. But thanks to advancements in computer modeling and technology, the engineers were able to bring the SR-72 to life. These technologies allowed them to design and create components that would have been impossible to build using traditional methods. One of the most impressive aspects of the SR-72 is its stealth capabilities. At such high speeds, the heat generated by the plane would typically make it easy to detect using infrared sensors. However, the engineers incorporated advanced cooling systems and radar-absorbing materials into the design of the Dark Star, making it nearly invisible to both radar and infrared detection. This stealth, combined with its speed, makes the SR-72 one of the most difficult aircraft ever created. With its ability to travel faster than any current missile defense system can react, the SR-72 can perform missions that were previously thought to be impossible. With its ability to deliver accurate strikes and gather intelligence, the Dark Star has the potential to completely change the way war is fought and won in the 21st century. For years, the idea of a hypersonic aircraft has been more fantasy than reality. The SR-72 is finally ready to take flight, bringing with it capabilities that are set to be more advanced than other aircraft. Flying at extreme speeds doesn't just make the SR-72 fast, but it also makes it almost untouchable. The fastest missiles and interceptors that enemy forces might deploy simply won't be able to keep up with the Dark Star. This kind of speed changes the rules of warfare. In a world where hypersonic aircraft dominate, speed itself becomes the greatest defense. But speed alone isn't what makes the SR-72 such a formidable force. The aircraft's design has been fine-tuned to enhance both its stealth and survivability. Stealth has long been a key factor in military aviation, and the SR-72 takes this to the next level. Not only is the aircraft invisible to most radar systems, thanks to its radar-absorbing materials, but it is also difficult to track. This combination of speed and stealth makes the Dark Star an incredibly effective tool for both reconnaissance and combat missions. It can enter hostile territory undetected, gather crucial intelligence, and leave before enemy forces even realize it's there. The development of the Dark Star involved overcoming challenges that seemed impossible just a decade ago. The extreme temperatures generated by hypersonic flight required a new approach to aircraft materials. Traditional metals would simply melt at the temperatures the SR-72 would experience. The engineers turned to composites that could withstand heat up to over 3,000 degrees. These materials, including carbon fiber and ceramic compounds, are not only heat resistant, but also lightweight, making the aircraft both fast and efficient. The propulsion system was another major issue. Developing a scramjet engine that could operate at such high speeds required years of research and experimentation. A scramjet doesn't use traditional rotating parts like a turbine engine. Instead, it uses the force of the air rushing into the engine to compress and ignite fuel. This is why the SR-72 must first accelerate to supersonic speeds before the scramjet can engage. Once it does, the plane can achieve speeds that no other aircraft can match. The development of this powerful aircraft has always struggled with funds because the U.S. Air Force initially focused on other projects. However, interest in the Dark Star increased as the need for hypersonic abilities became visible. The engineers have been working closely with both NASA and the U.S. military to develop the technologies necessary to make the SR-72 a reality. With successful tests of the engine system and materials already completed, the Dark Star is said to launch and become the most advanced aircraft in the world. The arrival of the SR-72 Dark Star marks an important moment in aircraft, an achievement that challenges the boundaries of what we believed was possible in the skies. For years, the thought of an aircraft flying at hypersonic speeds seemed impossible. But now the SR-72 stands on the verge of becoming a reality. The Dark Star is designed to change both surveillance and combat, giving the U.S. military a significant advantage over other countries. While its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, was unique for its time, the SR-72 takes everything to the next level. 
The SR-71 broke records with its Mach 3 speed, but the SR-72 is capable of flying at Mach 6. This dramatic increase in speed makes the Dark Star nearly impossible to catch or track, but it also presents a host of engineering challenges that the engineers had to solve. The aircraft's ability to withstand the extreme conditions of hypersonic flight serves as proof of the advancements made in aerospace technology over the past few decades. The journey to bring the SR-72 to life has been a long and difficult one. However, Lockheed Martin and his engineers have a long history of overcoming obstacles and pushing the boundaries of aircraft technology. The SR-72 is the result of decades of research and development, and its successful debut will mark the beginning of a new era in aerial warfare. The most exciting thing about the SR-72 is the potential it holds for future advancements. The Dark Star is not just a one-off project, but it's a platform that could lead to even more advanced technologies in the years to come. As materials and propulsion systems continue to evolve, it's possible that the next generation of hypersonic aircraft will be even faster, stealthier, and more capable than the SR-72. This aircraft represents the cutting edge of what's possible today, but it also serves as a stepping stone for the aerial technologies of tomorrow. Looking forward, the Dark Star is just the beginning. The technologies developed for the SR-72 will pave the way for even more advanced hypersonic aircraft in the future. As materials science and propulsion systems continue to improve, it's possible that future generations of aircraft will surpass even the capabilities of the Dark Star. The SR-72 serves as a blueprint for what is possible pushing the boundaries of flight and setting new standards for speed, stealth, and operational flexibility. In 2021, a glimpse of the SR-72's potential emerged when the Air Force released a video of a single-engine flight research aircraft that bore a striking resemblance to the SR-72. While details about the drone's capabilities remain scarce, this video revived interest in the project. Aviation fans believe that Lockheed was getting closer to a working prototype. The SR-72 isn't just a spy drone. It's a platform for launching hypersonic missiles. Releasing missiles at such high speeds presents its own set of challenges. But Lockheed Martin has already proven that it's possible to launch air-to-air -air missiles at speeds greater than Mach 3 using the YF-12, an interceptor based on the Blackbird. The SR-72 will take this capability to the next level, making it a formidable asset in the U.S. military's arsenal. As of now, the SR-72 first flight is scheduled for 2025, with full operational deployment expected by 2030. If successful, it will mark a new era of aerial power. The SR-72 will not only surpass the SR-71's speed and altitude records, but also introduce new possibilities for survey and strike capabilities. However, there are still many questions about whether the United States can maintain the budget to support such a program alongside other advanced projects like the sixth generation NGAD fighter and the B-21 Raider bomber. The SR-71 Blackbird was a legend in its time and its legacy endures. But as we look to the future, the SR-72 represents the next step in aviation evolution. Its hypersonic speed, advanced materials, and cutting edge propulsion technology will allow it to perform missions that were once impossible. Whether it will fully live up to its promise remains to be seen. As Elon Musk has boldly declared, the SR-72 is ready to fly, and with it comes the dawn of a new era in aviation. This aircraft is not just a tool of war, but it is a symbol of human creativity and the relentless search for progress. The skies will never be the same, and the world will watch in awe as the Dark Star takes to the air blazing a trail for the future of flight. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.